In healthcare, you have publicly traded or for-profit hospitals and you have not-for-profit or community-owned hospitals. Both do a great job. We have both here in this community. But Intermountain Healthcare is a not-for-profit hospital, which means we don't have shareholders. The shareholders are the community members that live here. Instead of getting dividends back, we return to the community dividends in keeping our costs low, and keeping our quality high and providing the services that you deserve and need to be able to take care of you and your family. My father was just very passionate about the gift that he gave to the Intermountain Healthcare Center and the life potential it had of saving so many lives and helping people. And we just felt like this was a wonderful extension of that gift and it would have been something he would have been so proud of. As Ann and I reflect on the dynamics behind this specific gift in, in the Provo uh, Intermountain Campus with the new Sorensen Legacy Tower, this outpatient tower is an expression of, of uh, the enthusiasm and the results that we've experienced from the earlier gift. If we could in any small way help replicate the good that was done in Salt Lake Valley, in Provo Valley, it would be something that would ripple through so many lives. And that's one thing in philanthropy that you really focus on is how many lives is a gift going to impact? Every uh, economic class of people benefits from better health care at a better hospital. We were delighted when Intermountain Healthcare asked us to get involved in the new Utah Valley Hospital. What a tremendous gift and treasure to the communities that new project's going to be. The size and scope and scale of that project is readily seen as you enter the valley, and it's a symbol of the great care that's going to be taking place there. On October 10th, 2010, I was diagnosed with breast cancer, and I feel like I had the very best health care available. When you are going through chemotherapy and radiation, you're very fragile in every way. And you need to trust in the care of those who, who are the professionals. And I felt that I got the greatest care possible at Utah Valley. And I think about the new chemo center and the fact that it will look out onto a beautiful garden and pond. You need to be able to connect with the world and with creation. So I'm very excited about the fact that patients there will be able to look out on something truly beautiful and hopeful. The donation of Revere Health to this facility was really uh, many, many years in the making. There was never a doubt of many, many people that it was the right thing to do. We thought, what better way than to build the Utah Valley with a brand new hospital, top of class, that provides a blue ribbon health care to all of the community in that area. And what an opportunity we had to get involved in advancing that. And so we uh, wrote a check. As I went out into the community um, and started meeting with individuals and talking to them about putting their personal money into our mission, I was overwhelmed and humbled by their generosity, that they could see what I see. They have the very best hospital, the very best physicians, the very best staff that you're gonna find anywhere, anywhere in the world. And our caregivers are absolutely amazing, but the generosities of these donors is equally amazing. And together, we're gonna to be able to do incredible things into the future. When the opportunity to support this facility came up for naming opportunities, I, I did love the idea of the auditorium because I love the opportunity when education and people come together and when someone leaves a situation better equipped to deal with whatever is going on in their life. So it seemed like a natural to me. So what really resonated to us was the Live Well Center which means that you're, you're thinking about your health long before you have difficulties with your, with your health. If we could uh, contribute to the efforts of, of being well, eating well, feeling well, and moving well, which are kind of the mantras of uh, Utah Valley's Live Well Center, we thought, wow, that's something that we could really get excited about. When Revere Health made a decision to uh, provide support for the capital campaign, 
we focused on the education center as, an, as a component that we wanted to really show our support for. And, and the reason why is that center speaks to the community coming together. World-class healthcare facilities fundamentally change lives. And they change lives of not just a few dozen people or a few hundred people, but tens of thousands of people. A hospital helps everybody in a community. And so if, if you're interested in being helpful to mankind, there aren't very many places where you can be as, as helpful to the, an entire community. Every dollar that gets donated makes it possible for us to do even more to give back to the community. The community benefits. When we were looking at the opportunity to give, we studied carefully the information that had been given to us. And my husband and I talk about everything together. So when both of us felt good about this gift, we knew we had a winner. We knew that, we, that the community was going to feel good about it and that we felt great about it. And uh, it's, it's just critical that we continue to, to support the services that are available at U Utah Valley Hospital uh, and, uh, and we're excited to see the growth that's coming about to further enhance those services. In many ways this is as good as it gets. It's worthy of consideration of any and all who have a desire to give.